Mm-hmm. Today we're doing Turkish bread. And this recipe is one that I've been eyeing a while now. I mean, this Turkish flatbread does look so soft and pillowy and delicious. I really had it on my radar for a while now to try, so I'm glad that I'm getting to do it today. So without further ado, let me jump into it one time. Okay, so this uses really basic ingredients, starting with some warm milk. Going in with two teaspoons of sugar, some yeast, Give that a little mix. I'll add in some flour, all-purpose flour, and some salt. I'm gonna mix this together. Switch into my hands, and I'm gonna bring this together until it forms a dough. And don't worry about all the measurements. I will post a link to the full recipe in the video description. All right, so now that the dough has come together, I'm gonna transfer it onto my surface here. And I'm just gonna knead this for about a minute or so, just so that it comes together into a smooth ball. Uh, because it's not like traditional bread we're making, we don't need a lot of gluten development on this. So once it comes together to a smooth ball, we're good to go. And as I say, that shouldn't take more than one minute. All right, so we have our nice smooth ball of dough here. So what I'm gonna do is place it back in the bowl, cover it and allow it to rest for 40 minutes. Okay, so it has been 40 minutes and our dough has doubled in size. Now I'm going to place it onto our surface here and I'm going to divide it into equal portions. Just pinching off a handful. And then what I want to do is kind of plate in my hand here and roll it into a tight ball. So just kind of push it onto itself. Pinch. And here. You have a tight little ball here. Turn it onto itself using your thumb and just kind of pushing it onto itself, pulling the skin and pushing it onto itself, like so. So form a tight skin on this side, and then you just want to pinch it. And then just kind of roll it like that, and yeah, there we have our smooth ball. And I guess by the end of this process, I'll see how much servings of Turkish bread that this recipe yields. So, I'm just gonna continue forming these into bowls. Down to the last one, so we got eight out of this recipe. I just wanna cover these so that it doesn't dry out. And next thing we wanna do is start rolling them out. Okay, so now I'm just gonna flour my surface. Add a little flour to my rolling pin. And now we're gonna roll these out. I don't wanna roll them out too thin. Probably about the same thickness as if you're rolling out fry bake. That kind of thickness. So I think about this thickness should be good. All right? So it's not too thick and not too thin. So you get a nice puffy, pillowy, Turkish bread. Okay, so I'll roll another last one here. And you really want to roll all of these out before you start cooking them because cooking them requires a certain amount of attention. It's not like you just throw them on a pan and leave it. You have to keep turning it. So that's why I uh, decided to roll out all first and then I could give the cooking process more undivided attention. So now that we have all rolled out and ready, now it's time to head over to the stove top and we're gonna cook these off. So you wanna make sure you dust any excess flour off of the bread before you put it into your pan and then make sure the pan is hot. Just gonna rest it down like that. 
And what you'll have to do is keep turning it as it starts to cook. So we're gonna give it a couple seconds on this side, like about 30 seconds. And, and as you can see, it's already started to puff up. And as it starts to puff up, just wanna flip it. Flip it again. Give it a next flip. As you can see here, it's starting to pop up real nice. That is what we're looking for. Get a nice puffy action. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give us a real nice, soft, pillowy Turkish bread. Flip it over again. It's a couple seconds on this side. So in all, it should take between a minute and a half to two minutes to cook evenly. Nice, take this off. And I'm just gonna continue cooking off the rest. All right, so we're not done yet. All I wanna do now is chop some parsley really fine. So I'm mixing the parsley in with some melted butter here. And now we just wanna brush the breads with our herb butter. And this is gonna give it a real nice herb and buttery flavor. Wash on both sides. All right, now to dig into one of these bad boys. I mean, as you can see here, pliable, soft, that pillowy texture I was telling you about. Look at that. See how nice, soft, and pillowy this is. Great texture. I'm just gonna rip it so you can see what the inside looks like. Have a nice pocket going on here so you could fill it. And you know, let me know down in the comments what you would fill this with. Like, what would you? make this into a meal with your ideal meal. It's gonna give it a taste. Mm-hmm, amazing. I drop another word for it. This is amazing. Soft, pillowy, great flavor. The butter, mm. Fresh parsley. Yeah, man. Wow, I really can't get over how good this tastes, isn't it? It's going down real good. Yeah, I mean, I could just eat this just by itself, but I definitely want to make a meal of it, so I'm going to look for something to make there and put it inside here and call it a day. Let me know down in the comments what would be your ideal meal to make with this, what you would fill it with. Yeah, so if you like this recipe, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so. Of course, the full recipe will be posted in a link in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.